Welcome to Vibe Extra. I am Jennifer Geisler, and with me right now is Rod Soderberry. He is the Senior Vice President of Unified Access Solutions, focused on our switching portfolio. So Rob, thanks for squeezing us in today. Thanks so much, Jennifer. Hey, so I have this tough question. I've been asked by a couple of um, attendees here today. As far as Calis, Calis switching is our most successful product line at Cisco but still, because it's been around for a while, sometimes people doubt. Could you provide, you know, what is the bottom line on our Cala switching? Well, it's important to take a step back and realize that our entire switching portfolio across Catalyst and Nexus is built on a set of switching innovations from Cisco. We have a tremendous history of leading the market and we continue to lead the market. Now, what we see today is in the access market, pursuing a strategy called unified access, focused at the unique opportunities in the campus market. Supporting technologies like video, energy management, power over ethernet. All these technologies we, we're pushing behind the banner of unified access, and our Catalyst platform is structured to be the end-to-end -end solution in the campus. Okay. Similarly, Nexus is really focused on the unique needs of the data center. Uh, FCOE, lossless fabric, virtualization cloud, all the things are going on really driving the, driving the data center. So it's very simple, Catalyst for campus, Nexus for data center. Great, and one of the things that I've always liked about the Catalyst product line is that the amount of innovations that we've had over the years, I mean, it seems like it always continues to reinvent itself. There's always something new and fresh. And this is maybe a precursor. I know you're about ready to make some announcements. I don't know if it's going to be after the show or what, but I'd like to put you on the spot and can you talk about some of those campus innovations that you're doing right now? Well, sure, there's a lot of change going on in campus. As we look at what are the types of technologies that our clients are asking for integration, we get demands around mobility and wired wireless integration. In fact, we just launched ICE, our identity services engine, to pull together policy and manageability across wired and wireless. Energy management and power over ethernet and energy-wise, pulling together all the solutions that are necessary to manage energy in the campus. In fact, out here on the show floor, I've seen a number of interesting demos. Just to my right here, Schneider, showing off both data center and campus energy management solutions. And actually, within the Cisco booth, we're doing a sneak peek on a new level of power over ethernet, UPOE, taking DOE to 60 watts, uh, per, per port out there. And that's going to allow us to power a whole new series of devices uh, that we're seeing in the campus network. Okay, well, so for our audience that's actually physically here, we have the main Cisco booth, which you see to my left, but if you go directly right behind me, there's a whole booth dedicated to switching innovations, where you have the new UPOE, for example, where you can see all of that, so it's, that's really exciting there. I just love seeing every single part of our whole switching portfolio, the whole catalyst line there. Looks fantastic. Now, another question to put you on the spot, and um, really going to push you hard on this one. But when we look at what the competition's doing, because this is a great market to be in, switching is hot, especially in the campus. Why Cisco when you look at the competition? Well, if you look at the, the campus or the data center for that matter, we're continuing to see dramatic technology transitions. The advent of mobility in the campus with the, all the mobile devices and wired and wireless integration, the need for security, the need for compliance, a whole new range of devices out there, new technologies like VDI, uh, trends in unified communications, video to the desktop, all these are driving the need for a new set of rich set of services and cap capabilities. And Cisco's uniquely positioned to go deliver those services and capabilities. Now, some clients need just basic connectivity. They may have a set of PCs they want to hook up to the core network. And they don't necessarily need all those advanced capabilities. In those cases, we have, we have great competitively priced solutions, and things like Catalyst 2K, as well as some entry Catalyst 4K bundles, allow them to get a very cost-effective solution. So our competitors are coming in with the notion that says, they have good enough solutions. <laughs> and look, most people, most people need more than good enough. Mm -hmm. I mean, at home, I don't settle for good enough. <laughs> and, and what we see in our enterprise clients is they need these capabilities, they need these services, they want to continue to push what the technology can give them. And if they decide they don't need those services and capabilities, they always have a Cisco solution. And that, that strategy's worked out really well for us, allowed us to gain port share and gain market share against 
you know, our key rivals over the last 18 months. So we're really happy with our competitive position. There's no need to look anywhere besides Cisco to meet your switching needs. Excellent, because also not only do they get, I'll say the state of the art technology, if they do the good enough or more with the advancements, but they get our services you know, as far as tax support, they get tons of you know, trained people out there in the field. So they have this wonderful amount of support even post sale as well. Right, and, and often what a client is looking for is his range of application needs. He has campuses and branch offices, maybe large environments, small environments, uh, solutions in mature countries, and solutions in emerging. And with the rich and depthness of the Cisco portfolio, you can really optimize your platforms and your products for each of those business needs. And, and ultimately that drives more business value to the customer and that's why we're here. I mean, you almost we stand up and be a cheerleader and go, yay, go Catalyst! <laughs> anyway, Rod, just appreciate your time. Now you, I have a couple more customer appointments you want to get out there too, but thank you very much. I look forward to speaking with you more. Happy to sit down with you, Jennifer. Right. For Vibe Extra, I'm Jennifer Geisler. Thank you for watching this episode.